Okay, let's see if you can hear me. Mic now. off. Mic feedback off. Mic now? off. Mic feedback off. Mic 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 off. That's going to be strange. I don't know how to get around that one. Battery low. All right. I think if I just don't listen to my own stream, y'all won't get the loop. 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 Hmm. Okay, I think I fixed it. All right, perfect. Now we can just kind of hang out and chill. And I can get back in the game. Now that I've got that all settled out, let's get talk to me. To Mr. McScrooge. Now I dug the sound equipment out of storage for y'all. Which, yes, y'all, I'm Georgian. Um, I hope these lads are ready to put on a show. And if you want my advice on where to do it, Dazzle Beach would make a fine venue. Alright, I can do the beach. That sounds fun. Um, let's track the new quest. And now we are going to try to wrap up. I think I only have a few people left, like two or three. We're going to get them all wrapped up tonight if we can. Dazzle Beach. Let's see. I need an open space, and I don't want to do it right here. Ideally, I'd like to be able to do it anywhere I wanted, but... I also saw where somebody um, redecorated their plaza and put Eric's castle so that it overlooked the ocean down here. And right now that's where I have Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy's house. And I think I'm going to redo my whole valley before <laughs> the update comes out because I'm crazy. All right, get rid of those because I have made a point of not messing with this island so far or as much as possible. Um, Let's do it right here. Because I kind of think that like Badness Little Check, the like nice spooky Stitch, are you eating your ukulele? You silly boy you. Okay. Um, we're going to do that and we're going to do this. Wait, it's bad in this little check. Let's do that. Rawr. All right. And we're going to save and get that going. I wonder how many, if I have to do more of these. Attend the party with the sound equipment. Talk to Stitch. Why are you running from me, Stitch? Come back. Stop running. Stop running. Stop running. Everybody come see Stitch play music. Of course we did. Morchiba. Morchiba. Very happy. That sounds great. Um, I loved your dance moves. Not bad for a first concert. I did love his dance moves. I was always a big fan of the like Elvis dancing in the movies. Um, when Stitch was alone on Spaceship, I was lost and forgotten. Never. Um, but not lost and forgotten anymore. I actually can't wait until we get Lilo because it actually makes me very sad that Stitch is here in the valley with no Lilo. There's night thorns for getting and I clicked too soon. Yeah, still good. Thank you, Cordy. Um, thanks for being part of the village, Stitch. You've become a model citizen. Your goodness level is so high right now. I think he'd like that the most. Aw. Yep, Elvis pose. 
Stitch, do something for Cordy to say. Dugaba. Thank you. Take broken spaceship to Scroogey. He sent for fixing. He got that. Spaceship not fly. That's okay. Don't worry. Stitch, it may be a little broken, but it's still good. Did I turn the music off? Sound. Oh, it's just down very low. Let's turn it up a bit. All right. We're going to go this way. So I put Stitch's house right here, which I like, but I didn't finish decorating it. Um, and up here, I finally got my walkway completely done. I'm very happy with it. It kind of gives me old golden age um, Disney vibes like Lady and the Tramp, Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland. Um, it helped that that was the kind of music I was listening to when I did it. So yeah, one of my favorite things to do is listen to Disney lo-fi. And you can usually find it where it's the older music and that is fabulous to relax to. I'll just put you in one of those great moods. Collect the map from Scrooge McDuck. All right. I hear you have a map for me. Go see Merlin. He'll know how to read the map. Did I? Oh, I finished Stitch. So it's him and Buzz now. So what we're going to do today is we're going to hang out and chill and gather. I don't think I have anything currently planted to pull up. Uh, maybe a little bit. Let's see, where is Merlin? Oh, he's eating. All right. Let's go to Remy's, which I've turned my, I've turned the upper plaza into uh, kind of a city center. I like to think of it kind of like this is the downtown of my valley. Um, eventually, I'm going to move my home probably down into. Um, oh, my God, I've lost the biome names down into the peaceful meadow. And then because I'm sure we're going to get more buildings kind of this nature, like I can already think like Mary Poppins town home or the house that Mary Poppins was in. Um, the original was a kind of a brick, brick stone town home connected home. Um, the house from Lady and the Tramp would fit up here. We never saw the house that Alice lived in. So I don't know what they would do for her. Maybe we would get like the Mad Hatter's Tea Party experience for her house. Um, Cinderella would probably get a castle, which I'm not sure where to put that. Considering a Cinderella, probably over in one of the foresty areas. Um, have you ever time traveled? Let's hang out. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make some fish soup right quick. We'll try to get him out of this situation. Let's see. I don't remember if fish soup is a... There it is. Autofill. Start cooking. Let's see. Who else? Peter Pan will probably... The Darling's House would work up here because it's also got that Mary Poppins British um, brownstone vibe to it. 
I can't think of anyone who lived in like New York, like a New York Manhattan situation. Um, maybe if they gave us the Aristocats, the Aristocats lived in a house kind of of that vibe. Oh my God, how cute would it to have all the Aristocats and like Dinah from Alice in Wonderland. Okay, screw it. Okay, Merlin, we need to talk. I have something for you. Okay, let's hang out. Is it in my storage chest? So my secret to having the valley the way it is, is I bought a crap ton of these chests. They are the, the ones you can get from Scrooge. There we go. Oh wait, we don't need you yet. Vial of freezing water. I feel like that goes to one other quest I'm on. Um, and I have them everywhere. I have at least one or two in every biome. So as I'm circling through and I'm gathering, I can dump them. So my inventory never gets like super full. And then every couple of hours I'll go and empty out the chest. Hicketus, Picketus, Dicketus, Zoe. Okay. Uh, you see the inscription says, only the one who wields the lens of shadows shall find what happened in the here and there. Interesting. Find the keys and make them whole for the treasure to be yours to hold. The uh, keys? Question mark. Precisely. It seems you must find two parts of the same key and repair it somehow. Mm, that's easy. Sh lens of shadow. Oh yeah. Scrooge kept something like that in a safe keeping when the forgetting happened. He should, you should speak to him. But he told me to speak to you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's go talk to Scrooge. Another riddle. Magic is full of riddles. Now take the map back and focus your magic on it. It will reveal its true form to you. So neat. And repair the keys. Let's see. Uh, focus your magic on the map in your inventory. Oh, well, that's new. Ooh. Well, okay. <laughs> you you all get to see how unplanned some of these biomes are. <laughs> Do -do -do. Yeah, I used to have Lolly up in the meadow, but then I ran into the situation of I wanted to change what the meadow looked like, and that meant changing where he was. Okay, let's look at that memory again. Collection, memories, this one. So yeah, it should be like right here. I wonder if Wally's, if I stuck something on it. Kind of looking like it. All right, well, the easy answer is to move Wally. I'm gonna move Wally's farm over here for the minute. Er, yeah, farm over here for the minute. Yeah. Ask Scrooge about the lens. I guess I should do these in order. It would make more sense. They probably don't arrive until then. 
Let's see, where are you? How is he always on the stairs when I come in? Like every time. So, did you find it? It says Lens of Shadow. That must mean the special pair of glasses I keep when the forgetting happened. They were locked in the say you helped me open. Now only those who can wield the power of dreamlight can use them, and you're the only one here who can do that. That's convenient. I made glasses for myself. Oh yeah, this is not a spoiler-free chat, by the way. Um, I am going to talk about the fact that there are certain things that happen earlier in the plot. Um, just because I think they're f a funny thing now. Oh my god, these are the glasses everyone wears in their streams. Um, and remember, X marks the spot where you can find them. What's next? Well, go find my treasure. And don't forget to wear the magic glasses. It will only reveal itself to you that way. Okay, so, no, 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 I don't need to talk. I am going to come up here and get myself a decent background because if I'm going to be wearing these glasses, I'm going to be wearing an outfit to go with them. So, log, hello, you'd think I hadn't hit buttons before. Let's put those on. And, well, I mean, it doesn't look terrible with that. Tops, filter, red. Oh, kind of works with the whole Lion King thing that's coming up in April. Uh, I'm kind of, no. Tops, filter, blue. Yeah. works. I think it's just the pants. Let's give the pants a, a swap out. Mm. Isn't there a darker version of these? Like a... The lighter ones. I guess those were the darker ones. Let's go with those. All right, now let's go find our stuff. But yeah, no, I always think it's funny because like, from what I can gather, oh, hi. Um, PRV seed? I'm gonna call you CD. Just cause I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, I do think it's funny that in this game, and I know this gets said all the time on Reddit, that like they're like, oh my god, you are the long lost ruler of our people. You are the only person who can wield this mythic magic. You are awesome. Hey, can you go pick me like five garlic and, and cook for me? Because I know I'm standing next to a stove, and that's my whole gig from Ratatouille, but I just don't think. I just think it's funny. Okay, so the chest should be in this area. Or the key pieces. Ah, a digging spot. Ha ha, key piece one. We like it. So we know that's there. I know the other one is here. <laughs> yes, if you're paying if you're paying attention to where I've placed all of my um, wishing wells, it's because I've been doing. Oh no, okay, 
Um, I've been doing an iron run and I found this video on YouTube where the guy said he figured out the perfect pathing to end up with the most amount of iron you could possibly get in a single hour. Ooh, a pink bag. I love a pink bag. Let's see what's in here. Um, oh, bronze and gold angelic harp. Oh, I've got the one that's got the dark, the other color on the top. That's exciting. Let's see. How many of these things do I have? Collection. Furniture. Oh, I'm still so woefully under in furniture. I am almost maxed out on clothing, which is kind of nice. I'm very close. Less than 100. Um, <laughs> the problem is, I think at 90... And the problem is I learned that I think there's one piece of clothing that the there's two pieces of clothing you can only get if you use the Dreamlight Valley character creator and then import your character. Well, I knew about the gloves. They are the Black Winter gloves. You can let's see. These, the Black Snow gloves. There is a error in the game where you can only get those through the character creator. You can't actually get those from Scrooge or any of the bags. And then I found out a couple weeks later that there is a black sweater or a black jacket that's the same way. And yeah, I'm not, hello. I, went all the way up there completely forgot I was messing with the keys because I'm talking about clothing um and I don't think I remembered or knew to put on that black sweater so sadly I've already imported my character which is why I have the gloves not excited about that part oh I see a memory let's see if this is from where I was farming like a mad woman or if this is something that will add... No, nope, it's just money. I've hit the point where I don't care about money. I did the, like, crazy pumpkin farming. <laughs> For probably about a week. I, like, dug up the entire of the Sunlit Plateau. Okay. I can't remember on the map if it's here or here. So we're going to go into the collections, the memories... I believe it's right here. Okay, so it's over here by the little footbridge. And then way back in there, um, I have Anna and Els or Anna and Kristoff's house back there. So let's do that one first since I'm closer. Or in my head I'm closer. Probably not actually closer, but let's Oh. That's shiny. Now, let's go over here. We'll go down this bridge. Yeah, as you can see, I have stopped getting rid of the thorns because inevitably someone is going to ask me to get rid of thorns. And I'm one of those people that if I don't stop, I will meticulously get rid of them and then I will have nothing to work with. Now, I can't tell which side it's on. So let's go over here. And that's just white bubbles. White bubbles are typically not a quest set of bubbles. Okay. Are they here or over here? Let's look again. Hmm. Oh, there's the footbridge. So it's way back in there. Okay, so it's where I've got the carousel. Haha. -ha. Yeah, I saw where someone took and made the carousel the center of an amusement park kind of theme. And I thought that was very cute. Ah, there's my dig spot. Um, but to me, oh, that is not my dig spot. That is a dig spot. Okay. Um, 
and zoom out a bit. Move that for a second. I, I do not see it. I do see this, but I don't think it's in there. Ah, there's my dick spot. Boop. Nope, still not my dick spot. I do kind of wish you could zoom out a bit more on this game. Um, I'm used to playing things like World of Warcraft. Oh, okay. You are very, very hidden. Okay, we're going to move you for a second. Please be my dig spot. Yes. All right. Now we're going to put our stuff back because... I just like tearing up my valley for this. Okay, how about the door? And then we're going to move this. And now we're going to put you back. Are you centered? No. There we go. And then you were back in here so that I could get to that mining spot, which the next thing I'm going to move up here, I, I've thought about moving Buzz up here, but Buzz is actually in a really cute spot. Since I need a crafting table, I will go use the one I have hidden at Mickey's house. Ooh, wood. Um, so I took... I'm a big fan of the Goofy movie, so I took Buzz's RV camper, and I'm putting it here. Like, Goofy eventually got over the idea of, like, trying to road trip in his car and bought an RV for him and Max. So he's parked it outside his house, and I really like that, so I don't want to move it. Even though I've seen a lot of very, very cute... Go back to Scrooge McDuck with what you found. Um, I've seen a lot of very, very cute builds where people created an RV park, and I really like that. It just doesn't quite fit the vibe. However, I am about to move Mickey, Minnie, and Donald out of, or Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy out of that spot, so we'll see. After I break everything down, it might be more... Okay, with a little bit of gold... You should be able to weld them together. Weld them together. Gold ingots. I suppose you'll have to prospect some gold. Oh, I have tons of gold. We're fine. I'll talk to you again when the key is fixed. Thank you kindly. So I actually kind of really hope that they stole. Well, I guess it's Disney owned, so it's not stealing. Um, but that they lifted the David Tennant Scrooge McDuck voice. It does, because when they redid um, DuckTales, I started watching it with my kid. Not quite as fun and lighthearted as I remember. <laughs> um, then again, I was a kid, so I may not have picked up on how um, nefarious some of the plots were when I was a kid. Um but he was not a big fan. He called it scary a couple times. He is quite, he is young, so I'm not completely surprised. There, there were a couple plots that I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I would have put a slightly higher rating on this one just to let warn a parent, but um, I started watching it originally because I wanted to hear what David Tennant's actual accent sounds like because I'm a big Doctor Who fan as well. Okay. How many ingots am I going to need? I'm going to need two. I already have nine, so I'm not going to make any more. And we're going to take this shiny, shiny key. And bring the key in the chest back to Scrooge. I really should honestly just put a crafting table hidden somewhere by Scrooge's house. Or Scrooge's store. 
I'm actually kind of hoping they get to a point where you can opt into having certain houses and opt out of having certain houses without it affecting who can be in your valley. Personally, I would like to get rid of Remy's personal home and only keep the restaurant. Ho ho ho, we did it. Together even, I knew you were perfect partner for this job. Of course I'm the perfect partner. I basically w support your, your business wholesale. With that treasure, I can purchase more stocks or expand. Right, I promised you your share of the treasure, didn't I? Sure. Cool. And here, a thank you gift. This is the part I'm excited about. It'll keep your share of the treasure safe. Yes, give me the nice treasure vaults. If you find any other treasure out there, call upon your treasure hunting partner straight away. Absolutely. All right. And we're down to just buzz. So we, <laughs> sweet Pepsi. Now, let's see. Where is Buzz hiding? He is so tiny. Okay, he's not up there. I don't see him down here anywhere, so he's got to be in the plaza. Is he Mickey? Okay, I can see there uh, it's Anna. Mickey, Scrooge, Maui, Eric, Donald, Ariel. There he is. I normally don't use this feature, but with with him and Woody, you kind of have to. They're so small. Like anything decorative hides them. Hello, the definition of a hero. We'll need asphalt for the landing pad and a blue balloon arch. I believe I've already made the blue balloon arch. Almost time for our next mission. So we need asphalt. Hmm. Fencing, asphalt. 12. We need like 20 of them. Oh, 13. And I bet you it's the sand that I'm missing. Because I've been making a ton of pathing too, as a way of prepping. Interestingly enough, my answer to prepping was to gather as much as I could and immediately start decorating. Not necessarily exactly how that's supposed to work, but it was definitely entertaining. We'll do this while I'm here for good measure. Let's see if I can go find any more of the little coral brains. There it is. Wah. Do 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 do. I don't think I've cleared them all. I might have. I did clear a few earlier. Oop. Here we go. All right. Okay, so let's do a little planning here because that, that tends to be what I'm good at. Um, so Thursday, we know the update comes out because it's coming out on the 16th and today is the 14th. And by the way, for anyone who cares, uh, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you have an awesome day today. And if you're not having an awesome day, I hope it's more awesome now. Um, we'll make 10 because I know I only needed a few more, but that'll definitely round us out. Why are you saying I have zero? Oh, I need to put it all down. I need to decorate with it. 
All right. Well, wherever I put this, I'm going to take it back up. Because I don't leave plot decorations laying around unless I have to. Or I think they are exceptionally cute. Come on. I'm playing this on my PC, so this is a little bit easier. I'm going to do the balloon decoration right here. There we go. Where is my little dude? I'm telling you, they're squirrely. I actually think the squirrels are bigger than them. They at least will come up and talk to you. Okay. Like, how have I lost you again? Oh, you're in your house. No wonder I can't find you. This is the one flaw to this design. Is you have to kind of sneak around to get in. Okay, Buzz. I know you're in here. Unless this is the weird glitch where it says you're in here, but it didn't load you in. Let's step out. Sometimes that'll force them to generate. There you are. I can see you. I can also pick up the... <sighs> I do that all the time. I get ahead of myself and hit E because the talking button and the action button are the same. Yeah, please come to me. Definition of a hero. We need a place... Er Everything around our base for the ceremony that is a landing pad for our ship using asphalt. Got it. And a blue balloon arch. Everything must be installed near the RV. And it is. Um, Ur Star Command Headquarters. Mm, this is the blue silver arch. Are you not going to collect it? Or. Okay, I'm going to pick you back up, and we're going to put you back down. Maybe the RV is too far away. All right. And now we're going to put the RV right here. All right. He likes it. Another mission accomplished with great success, cadet. While you were away, I gave Remy our first assignment. He's created an impressive buffet for the welcoming ceremony. Don't worry. There will there will be more in than air tea and air crumpets. I'll need you to place the buffet and don't forget to put on your uniform before you begin the welcoming ceremony. Oh, I got to put the Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's dig, dig the cardboard back out. You. I. Furniture. Let's place. Uh, it won't let you do it. Okay. We'll put that there. Uh, costumes. I can't remember if it's in costumes or if it's in outerwear. Coats, maybe? I don't remember seeing it in coats recently. I was in here the other night. I had, I had done a bunch of farming and pulling things up and <laughs> was very, very exhausted and decided to redo my outfit. And I'm going to tell you, do not try to reclothe your character while you're tired. It does not work. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for the whole shebang. Okay. I mean, if we're gonna, if we're gonna rock it, let's go. 
tops. I wonder if I've got a green top that works. Perfect. I'm digging it. I mean, come on. All right, return to Buzz. Well, why aren't you letting me move? Save the game. Mess with the menu, see if that'll do it. Oh wow, the game has stalled on me. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do here other than close it out, but I don't want to close it out because I don't want to mess with the stream. I don't want to do that. All right. Let's see if I can teleport. Maybe teleporting will fix it. It did not fix it. It just moved me. Okay. Oh wow, my game is having a conniption fit. All right, well, I'm going to pause it and I will be right back. Okay, now that the game is reloading, I wonder how far in on Buzz's plotline I am. I think we're kind of towards the end. I actually didn't watch a lot of videos. See, I swear to God, standing up, Buzz and the squirrels are the same height. Um, I didn't watch a lot of streams about the Toy Story release. So I don't actually know how far in on the plot we are. I've got the same outfit. Interesting that I put the outfit on second. Log. Untrack track. Return to Buzz. Where is Buzz? Buzz has run away on me. All right. Come on, Buzz. You know what? If it won't let me do this, Haha. -ha. Uh, congratulations, cadet. The welcoming ceremony was a huge success. Our newest recruits were there. Everyone had fun and seemed to enjoy the buffet. You know, when I came to the village on a retcon mission, I didn't know what to expect, but you helped me find my place, remember my past here, and you helped me figure out what sort of hero the valley needs. Um, let's see. I learned from you when I was a kid. Are you getting a bit teary-eyed buzz? I'm okay. I like quoting the movies back at them. <laughs> it makes my inner child very happy to do so. Um, well, I can't really cry. My eyes are made of durable plastic. Working with, <laughs> working with you has made me a better space ranger, Cordy. Which is why I think it's high time you got a new rank. I'm promoting you from cadet to fully commissioned space ranger. Huh, 
I'm very happy about that. Well, you deserve it, and since you're a space ranger now, you need this. Your very own jetpack. I will take a jetpack. Oh my gosh. That was... And I have no available quests. That makes me very happy. So now, let's put on something to run around and put on one of my trident trees. Um, oh, it's a back. And hat. Oh, that's kind of cute. You know what? Why not? Oh, idea. Wardrobe, hairstyle. Um, I mean, why not? You don't have to pay for it in the valley. Might as well have your balayage. Okay. Preparations need to be made. Um, I did a lot of, I did a lot of farming, so I don't need to farm. I have a bunch of the other resources. Maybe tonight we just decorate a bit. Get things tidied up a bit more. I did just move everything around. So my thought is I saw where someone took Eric's castle and moved it here and created kind of like this like castle on the hill, which I like because it reminds me of the actual movie where his castle actually was kind of up on a cliff overlooking the ocean. Um, I currently have this little like space dedicated to the Fab Five even though only three of the Fab Five are here. And I was thinking it might be nice to move them over here by Merlin. And then I could dedicate that space to Eric. And then I could put Ariel's house over there. This way, like, Eric's looking down on Ariel. I think that's what I'm going to do. But I'm leaving the centerpiece alone because I really like the way I handled it. Furniture. All right, let's zoom all the way out because it's the best way to do anything. I'm going to put him up here for the moment. Mostly because I'm not sure what else to do with him. Okay, so we're going to take Mickey because I like having Mickey and Minnie beside each other. I wonder if I can squeeze them both in there. Why? His house seems smaller than hers. So I'm going to put his over there and hers right there. No, that's crowded. Let's put them over here. I feel like Minnie would have a pond in her front yard. Actually, no, Goofy would because Goofy fishes. So let's put Goofy here. All right. That's cute. And then we could put... Oh, there's something I need to dig up right there. Hmm. That goes with Mickey's house. These can come over here. Because I want to kind of keep this like backyard vibe I had going on with him. So we'll just move everything over. And before I get too deep into the decorating, I'm going to move Eric up here because if I don't like it, I can always undo all this. And I don't know what to do with the like friendship stones. I never kind of have a clear picture of where I want to put them. All right. And then we're going to not take all of it out because it is, well, I guess I can do that. Yeah, I learned the hard way not to hit the remove all button if you don't mean it. Ooh, I need to plug my headphones in. Um, 
am I going to move? Actually, if I potentially am just hitting undo, we'll just take all this up. Okay. Now, Eric's castle. Which side is the front? There we go. I need to be able to run around it. In case, well, I guess wood won't drop back there if I don't put a tree back there. But things might sprout. Kind of like that. Let's see what that looks like from down here. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I dig that. And then I can take Ariel and give her a space over here. So Ariel and Moana can hang out. And maybe Maui. Because I never did figure out kind of what I want to do with him. You ever get into this game and then realize you've got more houses than you know what to do with? It's kind of where I am. Okay. Um, his house was pretty close to the cliff in the movie. Uh, let's see if we go this way. I don't need that much space to skirt around. And I'm not actually giving him a backyard. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I can dig this. Then if we get, like, any of the other princes, I can stick them right there. Let's see. What other princess would we end up with? Because Prince Charming ends up with Cinderella's castle. I mean, Rapunzel could go there. That would be a good spot for Rapunzel. Or maybe up in the, the Forest of Valor. Okay. We need something right here. Like a, a walk path, an open space for like carriages and then maybe some sort of like fencing here i feel like he'd have really nice things because prince clearly and his house is pretty dope um let's see what we got to work with for fencing well he definitely wouldn't have picket fence i feel like that's not enough privacy Maybe the bamboo ones. Oh, this is going to eat all my softwood. <laughs> Looks like I will be gathering more tomorrow. Actually, let's do... I think I have some of that stuff made. Let's see what it looks like. Jog my, my character over here. Make sure we're digging it. I also kind of like the, the weirdness of him having a floating rock by his castle. All right. Fencing. Nope, I don't have any made. Furniture. Make sure I don't grab my trees and move them. All right. So we need. Let's make, oh, I only have seven. Didn't I make a bunch of this? <laughs> um, we can make a bunch of that. That also kind of works here. Oh, we do not need 69 of those. That is not what I need. 
I also wish you could just type the number in. That would be nice. Let's make 30 of those. Hmm. Let's start there. Furniture. Go down to pathing. Oh, I have like 68 of these. Perfect. I can't remember maybe making a ton of them. Oh. Because I wanted to I saw where someone used these to create a path from the wishing well from the original wishing well down all the way to Ariel's castle. And I liked it. It was nice. I did it and then I was like, mm, it doesn't quite give me the vibe I want. Like it's just a little too it looks like indoor flooring to me is kind of the problem I have with it. It doesn't look like it should be outside and taking weather damage. So let's look at one of the others. Try not to get up under that palm tree again. Going a little more. Perfect. See, like, this looks like it should be outdoors and subjected to, like, all sorts of weather and rain and crappy coastal weather. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Eh. We will get rid of that little bit. can always make more later. That's cute. Oh, I have just enough to do one more little. Nope, not enough. Oh, but I don't need that one or that one or that one. The one thing I've learned is build your build and then move your house and see if you can take back any of the materials that are quote unquote underneath. I like having that little bit on the side. All right. Now let's see if there's any of that pathing laying around I can just kind of steal. See, like here's some. We'll just clean up the, this edge right here. That gives me five. And clean up that edge right there. That gives me a couple more. I need to finish Remy's place. Any other terrible little corners? No. I have gotten pretty good about trying to clean up where I can. I wonder if I have enough. Hurrah, exaxes. Now, fencing. I don't want to take up too much space because we do kind of run into a issue of not enough space in the valley. Let's do that. And then we can make some more of this in a minute. All right. That gives him kind of a, a space that is his with a yard. All right, let's look through furniture and see what else we got. Let's see. Mm, let's not filter. Let's just go through. See, the thing about Prince Eric is, first, yes, I saw in a stream earlier where someone said, oh, he's not really a prince. Yes, he is actually a prince. Um, but he's a prince who likes to be on the ocean. I don't imagine, 
I mean, if you're a sailor, you're not a very frilly person. You're, you're a bit more practical. Because you want your stuff to... You don't want your stuff to be, like, overly... I wouldn't say overly ornate, because pirates used to be very ornate. Same with, like, royal ships and navies. But they were very... Everything, even though it was beautifully made, was purposeful. So I feel like his space should be purposeful. Like, I don't imagine, like, that doesn't look right. It, it does not look like it belongs. Let's see. He also plays a flute. So maybe some magical stuff. Mm. Let's see. And then they gave us that tiny little ship, but I put it out and I looked at it and was like, it looks like a toy ship. Let's, I want to give him like an entryway, like you stroll up into his house and it's not just like, maybe that's what we need, plants, trees, palm trees. Okay, let's put a bunch of, this camera and I are going to fight. Let's put a bunch of palm trees out see what we end up with since they like to give you different shapes wow they're not giving me different shapes from that one I thought they were well there's a different one and we'll go down oh that's nice like a a hedgerow Oh, I like this. Okay. Ha ha. <coughs> Accidentally stumble upon a great idea. I like it. Gives you kind of an enclosed courtyard feel. And we can take um, there and zoom in a little bit. Oh, is that going to be enough room to run around it? That's the one thing. I don't like putting things. I don't like decorating to the point that I can't scooch around things. Oh, we'll use those here. I like that. I want to bend them towards each other. There we go. And then we'll take this guy and we'll put him over here. And See if I can get it to look like they're bending towards each other again. Hey. This camera. That is one thing that like I'm not sure how to fix it from a developer point of view. But I feel like the camera has spots where it doesn't like you to look. And I wonder if that's because of things they don't want I want I do kind of wonder if there are things in the game that are already in the game that the camera will avoid because the developers don't want us to see it yet it would not surprise me if Disney has already built in a bunch of things and is just waiting to release them or has started to prep and in some of the updates we've already gotten we can now we can't interact with them because the camera won't look at them but they're already there like I'm not saying there's like something right there 
but there's clearly an angle the camera is trying to get me to avoid and usually it has a lot to do with the floating rocks or somehow shifting the camera from one biome to the next while you're in furniture view that tends to also be an issue All right, I think I want these on the inside. The, these look a bit more like they should be like, and it might just be because like my mom has some of these in her backyard and her front yard. So like to me, these are more like in your yard plants. Okay, we're gonna attempt the camera again. Like, okay, how did we end up here? I don't understand. We're going to zoom in. We're going to try to make our way out of this biome in a way the camera will like. All right. And now we're down here. And the camera doesn't hate us. All right. I like that. I feel like it could use a little more foliage right here. But I like it. I like it so far. Let's see what it looks like as the character. And maybe that'll help with the, the camera. Alright. It definitely feels like something you can run into. Oh, hi Bun Bun. And we can go through here. I guess the, oh, there's a hook up here. Where is it? What am I getting caught on? Is it the tree? Don't be the tree. Where are we? Oh, it's this tree somehow. Okay. That's okay. You don't have to live there. I need more foliage on this side anyway. We will put you right there. Maybe I just put too many things all together. All right. So now we got our trees. Let's look at underbrush. Um, tropic ferns, snake plants. Uh, nope. Um, I'm so close to that 3,000 count. It is... I need them to fix that. I, like every other person who likes to decorate, need them to fix that. Okay, I can't tell which one I like more. The light green, even though it is the Dazzle Beach one, seems to blend in better with this space. The dark one, green one that belongs in the plaza. Okay. Do the greenery test and see which one. And if anybody has an opinion about which one they like better, I will probably go with your opinion. I think that one's darker. That one just blends in too much. Is there a difference between those? Are you the same plant? Hmm. Okay, Glade of Trust, Plaza, Peaceful Meadows, and Dazzle Beach. Uh, that one blends too much. I like the high contrast. I guess that doesn't look right. That looks kind of wild. Mm. It kind of matches the palm trees a bit better for some reason. Like the same greens. Alright. Let's go with that. I feel like Eric is rich enough. He could import. Glade of Trust. Glade of Trust. Alright. 
feel like it needs something. It's missing something. I can't figure out what. And there's that over there. Oh, I know what it's missing. <laughs> and I've been looking for a reason to use this. Um, filters. Moana. Where are you? Oh, did I already use you? Did I use you in my Moana build? I don't see the hammock with the trees. I know I haven't used you. Maybe it's not listed as a Moana piece? Maybe? Miscellaneous. Actually, it might be foliage because it is attached to two trees. Miscellaneous. There's Scar's watering hole. There you are. Ha ha. Because Eric is this kind of guy in my head. There we go. But where do you belong? So I don't imagine Eric, well, I mean, it is Disney. Princes don't necessarily have to be worried about personal safety, unless you're like trying to get to know a mermaid and there's a sea witch. I'll put you out there and you out here. Let's see if we can squeeze you into the backyard. can't decide where I want to be. Oh, I have to move everything up just a little bit. Or over to the side just a little bit. I could see him doing that and staring out. And see. Okay. And here is where <laughs> we get to do the very fun thing of move everything exactly one square over. Because that'll make everything better. So let's go. Boop. Boop. And we will just, everything goes one square over. Remove all. Okay, this might be easier to just do this and put it all back. We'll move everything just a little bit more than one square. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Too much. There we go. Remove all, because you're not connected to anything. And before I finish this, we're going to grab you and place you where I want you. Just so I can make sure you fit. do this without angering the camera. There we go. Come on. Let me grab you. There we go. Can I pick you up? Yes, I can. Yeah, let's put the tallest one out. And now we will move this. Eh. We'll just put most of your backyard over on that side. That works for me. See, this is why usually what I do is I put everything out at the very beginning. This way I know what I'm putting 
what I want to use and I can go ahead and work the big pieces in together. Um, this time I didn't do that. Um, let's start there. And I liked having that one piece that went into the castle on the side. So right there. We'll come out a little bit more. All right. Why do I have so many more this time? Did I go back one more this way? Ah, that, no, that's not what I did last time. Yeah, close enough. And then we will do this. We'll move it off to the very edge so that I get a little more garden space or entry space. One. And then right there. And then we will right here and we will do this haha -ha. now I need to put the fencing back fencing Start there. Oh, is it that one or one more? It's one more. Perfect. And move these for a second and fix this. Mm. I think I'm right there. And then I like those right there. Where's my other little one? There you are. And it still gives me plenty of room to run. And we will put um oh I know what we'll put there. We'll put one of those little short stubby ones. Because that kind of... Okay, bushes. Are we not cuddling as much as we were a minute earlier? Sometimes you gotta make them cuddle. So you can get every little square. And then... Let me go there. And now you can kind of space them out a bit more. Or, you know what, let's just add another one. I think we can fit another one in there now. Maybe not. Oh, there you are. probably hear my husband in the back playing his game. Okay, that's not going to work there. We're going to put you there. I wish I could snuggle those in. It's kind of a shame you can't. Let's see. Oh, that's not the same bush, first off. There we go. 
That looks funny now. But I need that space to be able to run around. So, I guess we're going to do this. And maybe we'll make some more. Unless this seems to... No, we're going to need to make some more. And then put that there in between those. I don't know. I think we can leave that. No, it'll drive me nuts that these are on top of and that's not. Actually, the easier, less resource intense thing to do is to move these. There we go. And then we will move this guy over and this guy over one. That's better. And then we can let that go. Just let it go. <laughs> it's now the the <laughs> the Dreamlight Valley um, decoration theme song. Let it go. Oy, I don't like them being the same. There we go. And then we're going to get rid of that one and that one. And this, I think, was just a part of that. And then that. Oh, I like that. I think that's cute. Put some lighting. It's gonna make us some lighting. <laughs> I guess I'm just hanging out on the side of the castle. I guess I probably moved it to where I was. I wonder if we can sit in this thing. That would have been cool. Let you lay down in it like it's actually a bed. Oh. There we go. I try not to leave the little holes lying around. I know they eventually disappear on their own, but it takes like two or three days. Um, where did I put my... Okay. I will leave everything else alone so that I have it, but not this stuff. I worked very hard on this last night. Plus I might need some of this as resources in a minute to build with. There we go. Now, let's see what we got in terms of lighting. Oh, cool. Um Oh, functional items. Nothing on that menu. I know what I want. I want more of the lights that have the little balls at the top. Because that's kind of what I'm using in my valley. I need more iron. Let's see if I can make more iron before it goes. Nope, got to go hunt for it. Five. And then we'll come in here and we'll put Mickey and his family back into place. Uh, conveniently, I know the path that gets you the best iron. I should go get one of my mining buddies, but I don't feel like tracking the frozen crew down. My answer to needing different my different buddies for different things was I picked movies and anyone who belonged to those movies belonged to those activities so like everyone from Frozen is a minor um, certain people are I think the Fab Five as a whole are farmers except for Minnie Minnie I think is the only one that's a gatherer and that's because by the time I got to the mini plot lines and got her back into the valley, I already had the max number of farming friends you wanted. 
so I didn't want to just waste having her as a friend. You're supposed to gay. So the way this works and the way the guy explained it was that you want to set up your wishing wells to be as close to a large gathering of the mining spots as possible so that you're always kind of running in a line. But when you have to go mass distances, like from one biome to the next, you want to set your wishing wells up so you can just gate directly to the next set of mining spots, basically. So when you gate into here, ideally, you have the, the meadow wishing well right here. And then you run down that string of three that's right there and that one in the corner and gate over to the other side where that wishing well is and you hit those and come up. And then from there, you want to hit this one, which puts you right here at this mining spot. And then from here, since there's only one right here, you want to gate directly over to here and run down these stairs and you can hit this one and turn around and go back around over the little river. So you got these and then you come this way and hit this one. And then you come here and I used to have a large rock mass right here that was kind of cool looking, but I moved it off to the side because I kept getting snagged on it. And the reason you use this path in particular is it takes about five minutes total to do this run. And then by time you have made it around all of the mining spots, the ones down in the Glade of Trust have re-upped and respawned on you. So you can just do this for like an hour. I think I do like, I don't do it in an hour necessarily. I do it pretty quickly. Um, but you can do five loops and those five loops usually will get you a ton. And this is why I have all of those chests I was talking about earlier that are the I don't remember what they're called you can buy them from Scrooge it's dark wood something chest and there's a light wood something chest um, they're the ones that are the they have the same inventory at every spot or every instance of them they're not like a standard chest where you only get the top two rows so what I do is I clear that out and then I start making this loop. And as I'm making this loop, I will dump off into chests that I have stationed next to some of the mining spots. This way I can gather for longer without getting full and needing to actually go back and organize everything. And then like, I'm really, really excited about the new inventory up jet updates to the chests. However, I'm also a little sad because I worked out a great way. Oh, by the way, once you've made it through the Forest of Valor and you've made the route that go starts here, goes here, and then you wind over here, and then you loop here, this is where you want to gate again. And you want to gate to here over in this side corner because it puts you right here at this spot and you can gather that and if you have a mining buddy this this gets ridiculous real fast like as you can see there is my first chest and I haven't bothered to empty it or I didn't bother to empty it before I went to bed last night um, you can gather I think the max I got was like 99 iron and an, in a little over an hour it got really ridiculous really fast um, let's see what was I talking about before that 
talking about the chests. Oh, I'm a little sad at the chest update because I mean, okay, let me rephrase that. I am not sad at the ability to organize better. I am not sad at the idea of having auto sort. Those are both fabulous things and I spend way too much time in any video game I own <laughs> organizing my stuff. Like one of my favorite things to build in Minecraft when I'm playing Minecraft is I like to create what I call the Mines of Moria. I dig out a mountain and I create a, a redstone auto sorting system. And I have taken that level of aggressive sorting into every video game I've ever played. Um, like right now, I have one room dedicated solely to the purpose of um, gatherable items. And then I have a completely different set of rooms dedicated to um, food and cooking items, which I will give you a tour later because it's a, it's a little insane. Um, it took quite a while to set up and <laughs> then they announced that they are going to give us an upgrade and I was very excited and a little sad at my efforts. It looks like I will be showing y'all sooner rather than later. It's okay. I think I've got enough iron. I can work with this. But that's a loop. And then by the time you get done in the Forgotten Lands, you can gate straight back to the Glade of Trust and everything's respawned. It's quite nice. Um, I'm trying to figure out a way that I can decorate my spaces. So this is my main room. I'm going for a bit chill in here, just casual. Um, attached to this, I have my bedroom or a bedroom. I used to have the Christmas windows in here because they looked really good. Like what? Like seriously, let me show you. Because they look absolutely amazing. But I wish they didn't have the like wreaths on them. Like this is the perfect Christmas bedroom. But I wish they didn't have the Christmas lights on them because I like the window shape itself. And then this used to be my kitchen, but is not my kitchen anymore. I, I've ripped it out and started. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this room yet, but I want to do something fun with it. And then this room is my original maker studio. It's kind of got a, a spaceship, a... I found artifacts vibe to it, a little bit of a I collect, I collect specimens kind of vibe, and I like it. It's nice, but at the time, what I was doing is I was keeping all of my stuff, all of my chests on floor 11 and floor 12. Well, I decided that was for the birds, and now all of floor 2 is my maker studio. I decided to go big. So this is the craft room and attached to the craft room is the sorting room, which I have everything set up so that every object has one chest. Each chest has the original item in it. And if you can make anything from that item, the second item. So like I've got clay and then brick. Um, Coal is just coal. Glass is sand and glass, but they won't let you put sand on the shelf. So I just had to put two pieces of glass. Um, iron is iron and iron ingots. And then on the other side, oh, I didn't get a lot of, oh, there's my gold. I was about to say, I didn't get a lot of gold. Um, which weirdly, one of the Disney streamers that I watch um, went through and did the math and found that gold is actually a more common occurrence than iron. 
And I was like, I'm not completely surprised, but I do think that's very funny. And then over here, I have the rainbow wall. And the rainbow wall has all of the gems and flowers of those colors. So like, this is the red. And then I've got all the red flowers in the first red. Since there are two reds, it only has that. And like pink and I go through every night and just kind of put things away before I go to bed. Like this one is white and pink falling. Um, pence, I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm not gonna try. Um, white and pink falling flowers. So they end up in the white category. Um, there are some that are orange that you wouldn't expect being orange. And usually what I do is I do this. And this is yellow. That's yellow. Mm, blue. 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 That goes in with purple because it's the purple is the more obvious color here. Um, white, white, purple, that kind of speeds it up when you do it that way. But then you just click and everything goes into the, the storage where it belongs. If you don't hit your buttons wrong. Um, that one is a green flower. Those go in the food area. Um, this is blue, so blue, blue, blue. Purple, 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 purple. And then over here, diamonds are white or clear, so they get the white flowers. This one is black, so it gets black flowers and the, and the um, night shards. Um, the purified shards go in the white one. And then I just kind of like I have a bunch of stuff I need to sell from where I was farming ridiculously. Like I went through this past week and when I heard we were getting a mini casita, I like everyone else was like, oh, that belongs in the Sunlit Plateau. That makes the most sense. Except I had just built an entire farm experience up there and I had to rip it all out which i mean you do what you got to do to make everything look good um however it was one of those things that was like i just did this um so what we're gonna do is pull out everything and that's the other reason i have these stored everywhere is I go through and I always keep my quest items in this storage spot. I don't actually keep them on me because keeping them on me, they end up taking up a ton of space in my opinion. Um, and I would rather use my space for storage, especially if I can just stop and reach in and grab the quest item they need. So I keep a bunch of them laying around. And then that goes there, that goes there, the yellow flowers go there. This is why I'm not sad that we're getting auto sorting. Do that, you're blue, you're purple, you're purple, you're white. Red, so I'm going to put you there for a second. Okay. Sorry if I sound funny. My, I was sick a couple weeks back, and it's like my voice has never quite recovered. And then white, black. Then we've got glass, and I got that. I want to say you make those with iron. 
Actually, that's probably a quest item. So we're going to keep that and put that back in here. Because that'll be one of those things that someone will ask for. And then go sell a bunch of stuff to Goofy. Mm, pretty much the rest of this can be sold to Goofy. But I have one of those, like this side. This is a sewing room because I saw something like this. I thought it was super cute, so I went through and made my own variation. Um, on the cooking floor, I went, I went with a, it's kind of like a Moana meets Lion King vibe. There's a couple pieces I'm still replacing, but for the most part, I wanted it to feel like a foreign restaurant, something that is not standardized. And then like over here, I have all my veggies. I got to get some lighting in these rooms. And then in here, this is going to be the fruit. I'm still moving everything up off the 12th floor. And then as I do that, I mean, honestly, at this point, I should just wait until Thursday and see what they want to do. Because it might be that they, that the new update makes uh, all of that completely useless. So I'll come down here. Sell all this over to Goofy. And we'll see if we can make our, our lights yet. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to sell these because I've got an entire chest. I don't have a chest of that, so I'm not going to sell that. All right, we'll sell all of these. This is what happens when you plant more than you mean to. Oh, sell the pumpkins. Always sell the pumpkins. Sell those two. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now. Let's make the lights. And then what time is it? 9.39. That's not that bad. I can make five of those. Let's see how many I need for the lights. Ha! And I can make exactly two. It is like it was meant to be. And then we'll come over here. Mm, lighting. Where do I want to put it? I want to put it there or that. I think like that. That's cute tucks it out of the way. Mm, do I want that or do I want the others? I didn't realize I had those. I must have made those last night for the other build. I think I like the more aggressive lighting. Yeah. And then we can put these back here. Maybe. Mm, the castle does not like this. All right. Oh, 
All right. And Eric finally has kind of like a place of his own. Let's, I'll keep doing small upgrades, but I think this is, I think this is pretty nice. Let's scooch around behind, make sure we can run all the way around it. And we can. I'm going to have to remember to check this back corner for, for wood drops. But yeah, I like it. This castle has a lot of yellow lighting. Maybe I'll go back and fix that. I'll change. Do, do, do. All right. We got them in place. Now let's fix you three. All right. Goofy is usually the easiest one to fix. We'll move all the wood. I do like that you can do this. And I will say on days where I am pressed for time, I have been known to move all the drops to one space so I can just pick them all up. Two, three. Boom, 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 boom. Actually, And we'll do this. Mm, but how do I run between? Because I don't have wood. There, we'll do that. There we go. That's cute. I like that. Now, put that there, and then, I like Goofy having flowers around his area. That's the one thing, once you start decorating, you end up with these spots where it's like, okay, can't put anything there, how do I see through this tree? <laughs> All right, and now we got Minnie's little house. I feel like Minnie's house should be like more towards the right because it's right leaning anyway. Boop. It's. See how. Oh, you won't let me put you that far back because that thing has bloomed or has developed. Mm. Okay. Tree out of the way. Maybe that side is the side with her backyard. Okay. Oh. And like everyone who games this late at night, it's the alarm to remind me to go get my butt in bed and I am promptly for ignoring it. Let's pick all this up so that I don't have any debris. And then, also let's make sure we can run past into his backyard. Perfect. I'm a big fan of making sure your pathing works. Furniture. Mm. Let's see how we can do it. Oh, are you kidding? I can put a rug on it, but not a house. Boom. Let's see. Let's place that first. I'm not sure why it looks like daytime suddenly, but I will take the lighting advantage. Oh, the moon must be up and rather full at the moment. That usually, 
That can happen on occasion. I'm not a fan of whatever that rock is. There. That works. I like that. I'm going to have to hook my camera up at some point so y'all can see the absolutely dumb look that happens on my face every time the camera decides to get a little aggravating. <laughs> I just kind of look at it like, really? <laughs> oh, let's put an arch in. I feel like Minnie would be fancy and have an arch. I mean... That's cute. I like that. How do we feel about that? I feel like that gives her a cute little backyard. Now, do we like that? Or do we like the idea of it being over here? I kind of like that. It gives it kind of like a flat triangle, triangle flat. I like the, the pattern. All right. Now, let's see if I can get the camera to, there it is. Find a way to put that. Oh, I have another one. What do I want to do with that one? Hmm. Because if I do that, it means I have to put more backyard over here. Mm, I could give her and Goofy kind of like a shared backyard vibe. It's a really bad joke <laughs> that goes with that, but we're going to bypass it. Mm, yeah, I think I like that better. I'll put that over there for now. I like putting these in front of these. Okay, if you're going to be like that, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move that forward and move that forward. Nope. More forward. Like that. And we will move Minnie's house forward a little more. There. That makes more sense. And now I feel like there needs to be like a a sitting space or something right here. Like they've got their own little like backyards that are separated off. There needs to be like a communal thing right there since Mickey's house is too big to fit there. Um, I feel like they'd have like an outdoor table situation where all of them could hang out and not necessarily be in somebody's home. And I know there are picnic tables. Oop, I have some. Perfect. No, I feel like that way they can both stare. Everybody can stare at the ocean. And then lighting. Since I now have those two oh, right here, we can put, I don't want to put them. We're going to put one there. And I'd have to move the Goofy's house forward. Mm, no, it's kind of in a, mm, yeah, it can move forward an inch. And it is. Forward, forward. Forward. Now, we can move this. Mm. 
It's the one thing trying to make anything line up in this game can be very difficult. So we're just going to slowly scoot you across until you hit something red. And then we'll move you there. And put you there and you there. Oh, no. Y'all sleeves don't look good together. Hmm. I feel like... There. There we go. I want you to have more, though. Okay. That means trees. Let's go look at our trees. So this area, if I remember right, has a lot of birch trees in it to begin with. Yes, we got a bunch of birch trees. So let's add some birch trees in over here. Um, simple maples, those are always nice. Ooh, a tall maple, which are the same height. There we go. There's a tall one. right there and we're gonna spin you there we go and I still want a birch tree there we go now get rid of this little one there that looks nice Maybe put one more on the other side of Goofy's house, since he's got a lot of trees in his backyard. A small oak. Did I miss it? Mm. That's a pretty blue. Then I can stick you over in that corner. Mm. I'm getting swallowed by this tree. I wonder if I can move this tree further in that corner. See, this is what happens. I make a plan to go gathering. That was supposed to be the whole thing I was doing tonight. Because I won't be able to take the 16th off of work. Oh! Oh, I like that. Um, so I figured I'd get a lot of pre-gathering out of the way. Oh, you don't go there. So let's get rid of you. All right. And now we need to figure out Mickey's house. Mickey's house is small. I think I'm going to put it over here. And then when we eventually end up with Daisy... I will put Daisy over here, potentially. All right. Um, boop, something in the way. Boop. All right. And then... We can do that. I want him to have more backyard than that. Yeah. 
There we go. I wonder if I have the stuff to make more of those. Um, do, 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 do. Decor. I feel like Mickey would have potted plants, not necessarily like a full planter. Like Minnie brings them over in hopes that Mickey will like get into gardening too. Which is funny because the first plot line you get in the game is that Mickey used to have a garden and he misses his garden. But for some reason he never strikes me as like the gardening type. So I feel like... Minnie and Daisy are trying real hard to help him out. There we go. Just so they don't look too uniform. Oh, that's cute. Let's see if I can put... Okay, okay, okay. So let's see. How do we get this to work in front of the house? Because I feel like it's cuter in front of the house. There we go. We'll do that. Um, do that. Let's see. Why do I have 11 of those? I must have gone on a, a spree one day and then didn't realize how many I was making. That's crazy. Let's see. What else can we put out here? Oh, there's another little wild plant. Yeah, maybe that's his thing. He's not like a a gardener, like in the ground gardener. Maybe he's a, a potted plant kind of person. Like he cultivates them so everybody else can come to come get the, the s little babies from him, the sprouts. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. And just like that, suddenly Mickey is a better gardener in my head than he was a minute ago. Oh, I have the gardening tools that I was going to use, and I don't think I ever used them. Or... I either move too fast through this or not fast enough, in my opinion. I can never quite tell. Ooh. Mm, sitting. No, not essential. Sitting. Oh, that's too big. Okay. There we go. A little seated area chairs he can pull out let's see actually let's zoom out a bit and we'll grab everything I want to use and then put it all down do, 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 do. I wish those weren't too big we can put another little table over here. Give them some hangout options. Um, oh, I didn't know I had those. Okay. Table, bed, seating, storage. Um make his house the like picnic house and then Let's see if there's anything in here that's interesting Ooh, wooden sink you can have an outdoor sink art nope none of that Lighting. Oh, do I have any more of those lights? I have one more. That works. Little K 
cactus. I'm going to put those down in the glade. Miscellaneous. Burlap. I know, or at least I thought I knew, I had the gardening tools. I know I made a set to put near my house. I didn't think I, I thought I made two. Hmm. I just got the, the beach banquet. Did I really not make another set? Huh. All right. So now we have this. Well, let's see what we're doing with this. Oh, did it freak out again? There we go. It's just stuck. I had that happen earlier where the game just decided, nope, I'm not doing anything else. Cannot make me. And put that there. I didn't see another one of those, so I'll have to make another one of those. Since I've got that, I'm gonna close that off. I still need to be able to mine that. Yeah, you know no. And we're gonna put this over here. There we go. Kind of fits nestled up in there. I like that. And now Nikki has an outdoor sink to work in. Oh, I need my worker's bench. Where is that thing? There it is. Boop. Because that's what I usually keep on the side of his house. Mostly so I know where one is in the valley. And the red works with his house. There we go. I like to hide things behind these privacy flower gates. It just makes life easier. Do that. Put that there. that can go there like storage um, a potting spot that's not gonna work here okay Boop. settings I usually don't do this but at the moment I need to be able to see And sometimes it's just easier to decorate during the day. Yeah, that doesn't look right down here. This does. Okay. Minnie brought you more flowers. Where did you put this one? I feel like you keep them all together. I like how I'm talking to Mickey like he can A, hear me, and B, is real. There we go. Now, I like that weirdly tucked back in there. It feels like something like the Ma the Imagineers would do. How do I grab this pot without grabbing the house? I guess the pot is now a part of the house. You know what? That's where it lives now. Mm, that one doesn't seem to fit right. All right. And now, where do I want to put this? I think I'm going to put this like right here. 
they're not gonna let me. No. But I want it. Okay, we'll put you there. And then we get a, no. Ha ha. that that and that all right that's super cute and now we'll see if we can make another one of those fences uh, furniture I tend to use these in a lot of things so make like 10 of those and we'll make like two of those and one of those and I feel like he'd have a birdhouse actually I feel like Minnie would have a birdhouse uh, she has a show on Disney Junior that I've watched a few times where oh let's make some different that's why I have so many of these <laughs> So I can go around making a bunch of these. Mm, I will make that one. All right. Now I can get rid of the double sunflowers. Oh, it'll be under foliage. Boom. And then. There we go. Doop. There we go. And you just kind of don't work. So we'll get rid of you. Eh. Nope. make one more the interesting part is in the run I was telling y'all about earlier where you get the most amount of iron those two mining spots were not a part of it because all they give you is rock and potentially coal sometimes mm. I like these two. I'll make one of each and see what happens. <laughs> Merlin booking it in the background. All right. Furniture, foliage. Boom. And boom. Um, okay, so we're going to put this one here, and this one here, because this one also has yellow in it, that one there, is that going to block my path? I don't know yet. Oh, this works, and then we can have the one in front of the house and then the, that that works for me I like that oh that one looks kind of weird Ooh. you no longer work for me all right and then we'll put you on the other side like that mm -hmm. that works for me all right and I can still get back here if I need to I do feel like you should have trees, but I want y'all to have you to have birch trees. Mm. 
Man, I gotta remember. Boom. 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 There. Because there's like several of these that you can get your hands on. One of the things before I got the game that everyone said is just keep fiddling with the trees until you find the one you like. Like that. And what sizes do I have? Um, okay, those are the same. And I believe that those two are the same. Um, If they're not the same, they are so close, I don't think it matters. Now. Which one do I like for the backyard? That one's bigger than this one. That one has higher branches. I think I like the higher branches. And then we will put you right there. Now let's go test our theory. Okay. So that's nice, and I can still get kind of around if I need to, and I can still use this if I need to. Perfect. All right. So the, the Fab Five now have new homes, even though I don't like the fact that he has a three and they have a two, or have a single. But I don't really feel like doing another iron run, so. Alright. I need a spot for this thing. Because it's just kind of hanging out. Mm. There we go. That doesn't look bad. What do y'all think? I feel like it's mystic. It kind of goes with the whole Merlin vibe. I can move that. Uh, I think I like it better over there. All right. Let's see. Well, I think this has turned out a lot nicer than intended, which makes me very happy. And I'm going to get rid of that one because you don't go here. You don't even go here. I was thinking about Mean Girls earlier. By the way, if my husband making a ton of noises is awful in the background, please tell me so I can at least go in there and be like, dude. <laughs> All right. And if you can't hear him, let me know, because then I know it's not an issue. Yeah, I like this. I'll get some more pathing made. And then I can have like a nice little cul-de-sac right here. And then I can have this side go this way and not ha necessarily have a path that goes this way. I do feel like it needs more bushes. Like there seems to be kind of a, a devastating lack of, of foliage, but that also comes with like wanting to be able to get around in your, in your area. Okay, let's put some out. 
We're in the uh, peaceful meadow. Let's just kind of sparsely dot. Oh, that's not the right one. And put out some trees. Maybe that'll help it not feel quite so barren. Peaceful meadow, peaceful meadow. I wish you could filter these by zone. Like universe, furniture style, style, color. I wish it would be like biome. I want a biome sorter. This way I can only, like if I only want to put stuff from the peaceful meadow out, I can make that choice. Oh yeah, the beach grass is just way too much. Um, I put out that peaceful meadow. Put out this one in spots. And see if this like... I also don't like when I'm running through the meadow and I get caught on, on stuff. So like, this is going to end up being like a fine line of attractive versus functional. Mm, peaceful meadow. Oh, that's Forest of Valor. This kind of works out. We can do it in clusters. Kind of gives me some some organized debris. Eric would, would have people that manicure his lawn even if he didn't realize it. Alright, now let's put a few trees down. Trees. So this area tends to have a lot of birch and a lot of the like simple oak. But this side doesn't have any birch, so let's add a few over here. here. This does seem to be the two biomes that have the the, le the least amount of friction for the camera. And I think it's because you're supposed to be able to see from one biome to the next. Um, I believe that's too many. We'll put you there. And then we'll get some of the small oaks. And this will be our small maple. Oh, well, that is a massive maple. That is not a small maple. Like, guys. All right. And then over here, we'll do the same thing. Because having trees next to the ponds just kind of makes sense. 
I want to say there were trees by the ponds when you first start the game. I really should start a second save of the game and leave the unlock all the biomes but leave them pristine don't move anything until they ask you to start adding stuff and like see what they look like to begin with and get kind of a good clear picture so you can kind of stay true to each biome like I doubt there's this many like of the Japanese maples back here But I like having them next to certain people's houses, so. Let's see if I, they're all up here. All right. I am happy with this. So let's take a look and let's see what we got. And then I think, cause I think I'm gonna call it a night cause I should have been in bed about almost an hour ago. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go up here into the plaza And we're going to say hi to everybody. And then we're going to check it out during the daytime hours. Oh yeah, I like this a lot. Now I just need to get all of the stone pathing built. Oh yeah, I like, this is nice. I'm very happy with this. What do y'all think? And go through and clean it up fairly easy. It's nice to look at. Oh, I got cut there. I'll have to get used to running a little closer to Eric's castle. Gives us a cute spot here. So when we get another house after the casita, I have a spot for it to go. That looks very cute. I can leave Goofy's little trot, little um, cart over there. Goofy's house. It gives him a little work-life separation. Mickey's house is very cute. Same with same with Merlin's and Minnie's. I like it. This makes me very happy. And then when Daisy shows up, I'll have to reconfigure this a little bit, but not by much. And then I can keep her house over here. Donald's is down at the beach since it's the boat. Um, it'd be so cute having like Mickey and Donald and all of them and Pluto eventually when they give us Pluto. Have him walking around. I actually am kind of curious as to why we don't have Pluto yet. I mean, I guess they didn't want to give us all of the, the like, original five straight out of the gate. I also kind of wondered, I was thinking about this the other night. Like, we don't have Daisy and we don't have um, Pluto. But we also don't have Huey, Dewey, and Louie. And Donald is their legal guardian. Like, if you watch the, the DuckTales, the new DuckTales, it is because... Instead of just kind of disappearing into, like, the ethos. <coughs> Excuse me. Donald's sister actually gets lost on a mission in space, which, awesome. Um, but he becomes their legal guardian. And fun trivia fact, Daisy and Donald are not always dating. Half the time they're dating and half the time they're not. And that is because um, the Walt Disney Corporation can't decide if they want them to be a couple or not. Because Donald's sister, hi Donald, his sister marries Daisy's brother. And that's how they know each other. They're in-laws. And the brother and sister have Huey, Dewey, and Louie. But... His, Donald's sister tested so poorly with audiences and so did Daisy's brother that they got rid of them but everybody loved Huey, Dewey, and Louie so they had to figure out how, how to keep them in the plot so they gave them to Donald and just set and it just kind of never addressed where their parents went up until very very recently um, 
The other fun fact about the Fabulous Five is Minnie and Mickey are not married. It is Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse, but they are not Mr. and Mrs. Mouse. Most of the time, they're just dating. Um, sometimes you will see them tr trotted out in wedding gear, but very rarely do you... I, I think almost never do you actually see them have a quote-unquote ceremony. But they didn't want to lose the family friendliness of it all and have them be perpetual boyfriend and girlfriend. So they kind of sort of treat them like they're married, even though they're not. It's kind of funny. Because um, if you ask Minnie in the parks if she's married to Mickey, she does her shy giggle instead of nodding yes. And she won't nod no. And if you ask Mickey, he also does his like hand over the mouth giggle where he's kind of sort of bouncing his head up and down, but he won't say yes and he won't say no because there is no official stance. They are sort of not married, sort of dating, sort of together. It's actually kind of fascinating. Um, but I just thought about it because I was like, in DuckTales, Huey, Dewey, and Louie live with Scrooge and Donald lives on his ship. However, Huey, Dewey, and Louie's legal guardian is on his ship and Scrooge is running the store and there's no Huey, Dewey, and Louie running around. So... The only thing I can figure is at some point they're going to give us a plot where we will either get those three or we will turn around and get Daisy, then those three. The interesting part is, so far we don't have any characters in the valley that would be considered children. So, I'm a little curious if that is part of it, like they're just not going to give us characters that are children, but they're more than willing to give us characters that are, are adults. Because like, Buzz is a toy. Woody is a toy. Mother Gothel, adult. All of the Frozen cast, adults. Um, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Goofy are all considered adults. Um, I believe they are kind of portrayed as adults. Um, Wally is a robot. Let's see, who else do we have? Scrooge is an adult. Maui's an adult. Moana's an adult. Merlin's an adult. Oh, let's go through the list. Collection characters. Adult, robot, coded like a child childlike honestly he reminds me of my my five-year-old um and myself at that age adult teenager animal who acts like an adult with a career adult teenager late teen i think he's like 18 17 or 18 i don't remember the prince's age um She's young. She's like 16. Ursula's an adult. They made a point in the movies of stating all of them are adults. An adult. Those are all coded as adults. And those are toys. Woody is apparently like 50 or 60 years old. <laughs> that is insane. But yeah. So I kind of wonder if that's part of it. They're just not going to add in the, the kids. Because they're giving us in April Simba and where's the new item? They're giving us Simba and Nala, but they're giving them to us in their adult forms. See, I missed out. Oh, I will forever be a little saddened by that. I hope they I hope they let us gather items again, even if they're not colored the same. Like I really really wish I had the Incredibles 
um, clothing line, the onesies. All right. Well, thank you for joining me on this this little decorating expedition, unexpected expedition. I hope you like what I've done with the valley so far. Um, I'm not going to be streaming on Wednesday because my husband had raid night tonight and I wanted to do this. So that mixed with the fact that we didn't want to deal with very, very crowded restaurants. We decided to move our Valentine's Day celebration to tomorrow. Um, it, or this weekend. I don't think we actually like specified yet. Um, but I will be back on Thursday after the release. Um, and I will probably also be streaming on Saturday and Sunday. So I will see y'all then. Um, everybody have a great time. And... See y'all for update three.